I'm here with Garrett Fromm. He's uh, Chief of uh, Private Equity Corporate Finance for Europe for Ernst & Young. I appreciate you taking a little time to chat with us. Sure. So I wanted to get just uh, broadly, I know you focus a lot on Germany. Um, just give me a little bit of a sense of how you see activism uh, advancing, ex expanding in Germany in the coming months and years. I know we see kind of, seems like there's some regulatory issues that, uh, that funds have to tackle over there, but do you see w that there'll be a lot more in the coming months and years? I do indeed see there's sort of huge activity around shareholder activism. And if I look a few years back, I think shareholders or shareholder activists were mainly playing the arbitrage game. Mm -hmm. So they were buying into an opportunity right. and squeeze out a little bit more value. But now shareholder yeah. activists uh, act much more focused. So they approach companies themselves with a clear value creation plan. And that sets them apart from the activity, let's say, five or ten years ago. Because they were always there, mm -hmm. but now they get much more sophisticated. And do you think we'll see more foreign activists in Germany, uh, like U.S. ones, like Elliott Management, for example? Or um, you see, you'll see more German homegrown activism or a combination of both? I think sort of, um, and this is where I sort of related as well to private equity, this is a space that's going to be dominated by Anglo-Saxon investors, mm -hmm. so many Americans, mm -hmm. um, which has been at the forefront of the development. Mm -hmm. Elliot has been actually there, been there for quite a while, mm -hmm. um, and they do look at all the regions in Europe. Mm -hmm. I do not see that many sort of um, native or local German activist investors. Okay. There's currently one right. who features quite prominently in Stada, but if you ask me, that's more of an exception than the rule. Okay, that's interesting. So in the US, one of the big uh, kind of trends we see is that the activists have a lot of friends that are uh, in the private equity world. And you know, particularly if a private equity company suggests that they want to acquire a, a US target, then the activists are like, okay, well, let's go put that, try to put that activist target, that company in play. We'll buy a large stake and agitate for some changes. Do you see a lot of relationships between the private equity firms in Europe and in Germany in particular? and the activist funds that operate there? Good question. Um, so far, I feel that private equity and shareholder activists have not yet teamed up. Mm -hmm. So when a private equity firm wants to take a corporate private mm -hmm. and the activist has ultimately blocked the private equity firm taking a sort of a majority mm -hmm. in the shares, they have been rather opponents. Mm -hmm. But I do feel... Um, that shareholder activists can achieve goals and mm -hmm. unlock opportunities where private equity then comes in. Okay. So for me, it's more a question of time until mm -hmm. these two, in a way, cooperate mm -hmm. further mm -hmm. than that they remain that they remain opponents. Okay, that's very interesting. So, and then I guess the final question, one of the main topics of the day is Brexit, uh, depreciation of the pound, and a lot of stocks retreating in the UK. Do you see this? Like, there, there's potential, I guess, for a lot of volatility in the uh, couple years to come. Um, do you see this as uh, still the UK being a fertile ground for activism? Or is it something that you think the, the activists maybe will go abroad, maybe to Germany? I think, obviously, the UK is the center of shareholder activism in Europe. Mm -hmm. Whenever there's um, change, or sort of with, the, with Brexit, there's ambiguity and there's volatility. Um, there's obviously opportunity to do transactions as well for, for shareholder activists. Mm -hmm. I still believe that sort of the Brexit per se is not sort of driving shareholder activism long term. Mm -hmm. I think that it's rather the goal of a shareholder activist either to change the capital structure or governance or sort of run some value creation um, programs. That's the more driving force between shareholder activism activity. Mm -hmm. So short term, mm -hmm. clearly there is an impact. Longer term. The impact, sorry, the short term impact is that you'll, you'll, you'll see less active. There is less more. active. There is I would more see, active, I would see more, more because okay. there is sort of uncertainty and right. volatility. Okay. And this is where people see opportunity ultimately. And then long term you think it'll, it's not clear whether the, the, that, that it will level will out. Okay. It will level out ultimately. Okay. Because also the impact of Brexit um, will, will, in a way, sort of level out ultimately. Okay, great. Uh, Garrett, thank you for taking a little time to chat with us. This is Ron Oral with The Deal.